Hey there, everybody. Audio 3300 here. Uh, today, we're going to go over a little bit of a uh, look at for woods. Um, what we're going to start off with here first is a, a loadout here. So I'm in my, my inventory. This is personally what I run. This is very subject to change based on you individually. Uh, but what I like to do is right now, this is not technically something I would use right here. So let's, let's remove those real quick. Um, but normally what I would run is something similar to this with the AP twenties on there. So I'd run something like this and I would do it at night. Um, I've been leveling my, my sniper skill for a quest here, which is why I have, we had those guys. Um, but ultimately I do it at night. We have night vision here, uh, wear any armor that you want. You don't get into a whole lot of PVP, uh, when you're running night woods, um, like I get into a fight maybe once every three raids or so, once every four raids, which isn't bad. So what I would invest in is a big rig and a big backpack. Those are the two most important parts of, of this money run because the more stuff or the more space you have, the more stuff you get to carry out. And when you're not finding that many people spending the extra, you know, 100,000 ruples on a back, a bigger backpack actually pays itself off uh, pretty quick. Same thing with the rig. Gun, it's night. So you have good night vision. You got a shotgun with some flechettes. Um, flechettes got decent pen, does decent de uh, flesh as it's nighttime. So everybody's running night vision. They don't typically have one of these Altons on. Uh, so you can punch them in the face. It makes it makes it for a pretty quick kill on woods. It's actually quite nice. Uh, but outside of that, this is the loadout I'd use. Um, again, just to reiterate, most important parts are rig and backpack. Uh, you can go in with just a pistol invest all your money in a rig and a backpack uh, and you will still make plenty of money now what we're going to do is we're going to go into an offline mode here right quick okay first off let's lift that up so it looks like we got to spawn at the USAC camp here so this is one of the trickier spawns in the area here. It's kind of kind of difficult to explain, you know, how to find things to somebody that's not familiar with uh, playing this map. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to show the kind of rough spawn locations uh, that we have here and the routes that I would personally do to uh, to make money in doing it. They're all going to be relatively, uh, relatively quick um, and kind of always working towards an extract but hitting as much stuff as you possibly can on the way there. All right, with that said, we're going to kick to the left here. spawn on the back side of the USAC camp and we don't want to hit landmines there are landmines all around the back of this this hill here so essentially I come up to this point right here and that's the worst spawn location you get so if you're new to the map that little spot right there is super tricky to navigate because you'll get kind of lost um, you won't know exactly where you're at while you're new and what's the odds are going to happen when we spawn back over there you're going to end up walking through this and there's landmines everywhere around in there so the best thing you can do is stay to the uh the bottom side of the hill as you run along the sandbar to your left and you'll eventually find the the rocks that go up the side of the hill at which point you can go up those rocks and it leads you um in this direction now maybe there could be a way to go up through the gut there without landmines or something like that but i personally don't know i haven't really tried i just know that the way i went right there is safe you don't get mined as you just witnessed and uh we continue to move on from there all right so when you get to this camp right here what i do is there's an m4 spawn that's over here so you can take a quick look over there see if you see the m4 the first thing i loot is right over here on the ground here, you have a, a good spawn. So I've gotten orth, orthalmal scopes, um, all kinds of golden star, lots of good stuff spawns right here. So this is the very first place I loot is right there where that AFAC was. Loot the top of the uh, the cot and and right over in here, you again get orthalmal scopes, other things that can spawn up there, uh, random meds, defibs, uh, all kinds of good stuff spawns right here. So make sure you loot all of that. And then what I do is I come over here. Ooh. 
we're already standing. Come over here to the uh, table. Loot any of the pieces and parts, the weapon attachments and stuff that spawn on this little table. You got a box right here you can loot. And I come over here and I look at the top of these barrels. You find rubles, uh, D fuel, things like that that spawn up on here. Loot the box. There can be uh, fuel conditioner that spawns right here. Come in here. You can get vases, all kinds of stuff that can spawn down here. I'm not sure if Bitcoin spawn. I haven't found one yet, but I check it out because you do have vases, things like that, that spawn right at the base of that. You got another box and you got an MP5 spawn that's right up here. And then you got food and drink and stuff that spawns randomly right over here. As you run around the corner, you can get a backpack if you need one that spawns on this container. Ammo that can spawn randomly on the top of the box there. An MP5 spawn right here. You got another box loot and more weapons and attachments with another MP5 spawn. All right, once I've looted that, I continue this direction right here. I usually kick to the back, and normally you can walk through this area without hitting the bushes. And you're kind of looking back over here into this area to see if you see movement under the, under the, uh, you know, through the little camo netting over there. Uh, just to make sure you don't got somebody holding an angle over there as you come over here to loot. What I do is I typically, as I'm walking up, I'm looking right here. There's an M4 spawn right there. And I come over to this and I loot this just like this down behind this box. So you got a little bit better cover. And I look, I look right here, see if you can see anything. So that's a good spawns right there. Um, but the thing is, if you see like two uh, horse statues uh, right there, it's not worth going in because that's taking up the, the two spawn locations that are right there. Ammo that can be right here. Ammo that can be up here as well as money. You got a, a ration crate. You got a uh, random ammo in med spawn. Right here is where bitcoins can spawn. So necklaces, all the kinds of stuff spawns on your, or spawns right here. So just look around, right around here. So you got the horse there. You also, if you want rip rounds, um, you stock those up. They spawn right here quite frequently. Uh, nine millimeter rip rounds. So it's always from the leg meta. And then you got a. Uh, Container right here, I loot. So what I do is I select it, I spin around, and I loot it just like that. Use the truck as cover. Got another M4. This one's more of a Raider M4 that can spawn right here. Um, honestly, I haven't seen it in a while, so I can't confirm that it's still in the. And maybe they took it out, but it it was right there. I just I haven't seen it. Uh, this what? Get more spawns that are just up here. Usually food, drink, uh, D fuel, that kind of thing. You can get moonshine that can spawn on the top of this right here. You got a tech supply crate right here. Around the corner, you got weapons attachments right here. A box to loot. You get ammo that can spawn on top of that. You get food that spawns right, right there. Food that spawns right here. And then looking down under this rock, right here, you got random like gold necklaces, chainlets, uh, bitcoins, all kinds of juice can spawn right there, as well as right here. Now, this one can be a little bit tricky to get to. So what you have to do is you have to like, back up and then lay down you don't have to jump i just accidentally bumped the button there but you can uh kind of just jimmy yourself around like this until you can get it just spam the f button until you can pick it up once you pick it up and get up and come back here you got a usec armor that spawns right there you got another case right there once you've got that you can come up here Now, right here, you get, as you see, tons of ammo spawns that happen on the top of this little this little uh, blanket here, or bed mattress. And then on this one, you get weapon attachments. So as you can see, we got some weapon attachments right there. So it's always good to hit up. And then once I've hit that, I actually come down the hill. And I head in this direction for a while. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm sure that there's caches that I'm running near and by. I personally have not taken the time to memorize where every cache is on this map i know where some are um i just don't really hit them usually as i'm doing this i am full enough as it is that i don't need to spend the extra time looting caches or anything like that however if you do know of where some of these caches are along the the run you can absolutely you know incorporate anything extra that you want into these runs this is just personally again how i do it and what i spend my time uh targeting in the game so again, we're going to continue in this direction right here.
and then right up here I always you should always be keeping an eye to the left here too um not as much so in the night or at night i've never been shot at at night during the day if you're doing it at day um you get kids that will stock the scabs right over here at this little like intersection uh with a checkpoint or scab checkpoint or whatever you want to call it right over there to the left uh so just something to be uh tracking right here you got two more boxes you got a box there a box there and then when I, once i've looted those i come in this direction real quick if i'm full on loot i won't do this next little bit um i'll just keep going straight because there's nothing super lucrative uh that spawns right up here but you can get tech tape and hoses things like that here all the time but you come here so i mean you got bolts and everything so look at the top of that pallet and then look at the top of this little rack here again you get bolts nuts um keck tape hoses cor or corrugated hoses that is stuff that spawn on top of that so if you have open slots at this point hit that it's not it's not bad loot and then what i do is i just keep running over here going toward the zb014 uh extract which is right here when you come down into here what you're doing is you're looking right here so as you can tell water filter here all along the base of the floor around here around here and inside the wall lockers so you got two bags or a bag and a box right here to loot on top of the uh, barrels right here to loot oh i didn't bring my key but essentially what we got is you got a container right there that you can loot as well as inside the there's a wall locker to the right there you can kind of see it right there you got a wall locker in there that has meds that spawn on it as well as um 60 round magazines that spawn in there for the AKs. so now let's say that you spawn in but you spawn in over here you got the scav house that's right here so there is a spawn that's back here behind scav house if you get that spawn i work you know in this direction so i'll run up here we would loot zb014 once you, once i've looted 014 what i do is i actually cut across the open right here now it during the day this is obviously a little bit more risky at night i've never once been shot at i've done it a hundred times i've never been shot at running across this uh at night day i've absolutely been shot at doing this so uh just something to know um if it is daytime i'd go up to the checkpoint because you got more stuff to have to give you cover uh as you do it um, but come up over the top of the hill here always watch the left you get lots of scads it'll be spawned up and and roaming around in that direction you come in here and then i look at the top of this box right here you get chocolate uh i'm not sure if moonshine can spawn here or not but i've seen vodka so it makes me wonder if maybe there's a potential spawn uh for moonshine out here but not entirely sure so i, I still clear that you can find some good money there and then come over here you got random ammos bs ammo hp you got random ammos they're right here oh, excuse me sorry guys we got allergy season kicking off right now but you come into the shack and as we're looking around we got a random attachment uh like weapons attachment silencers uh, you can get some food and drink that can spawn right here as well as you can see you got sprats um but it's usually a pretty lucrative little spot to hit i wouldn't pass this up ever and then you can get AKs, very different variants of AKs that'll spawn in there. After I've looted that, I come this direction. You can loot this little body right here as well if you would like the uh, the extra loot. As well as I would show you one or one cache because I have hit it a couple of times, but I don't hit it often. So as you run out from there, you can see it. Cache is right here once you get that you can kick back to the right you just got to be cautious of sturman because uh Sturman boy can hang out right at the top of the little the little draw the little hill right there and he will absolutely just smoke the piss out of you if you hit that cache and you're running this direction so i just typically avoid it i don't i don't typically loot that thing so essentially what we're coming for is this little this little tent right here this tent is actually a pretty solid little place to loot so you got a spawn right here spawns right here spawns right here you got a bag you can loot i almost never loot that bag just because it's a pretty exposed area and i don't like to hang out here for very long 
But anything that's free and sitting on the ground here, like I've gotten Golden Star, like that's the uh, squash is like 12k um, in its own right. So things like that you can pick up. It's just easy money. And if you come and you look at this little jacket, you can get Bitcoins that spawn here. You'll get a thumb drive that can spawn on there as well. Um, just a really lucrative little little spot to touch uh, on your way through. So now we're at the lumber mill. As everybody knows, it's a very sweaty area uh, of the map. I don't personally go too deep into it when I'm trying to make money. Um, just because it's risky. Uh, there's there's no need to do it. But one thing that I, I do is I'll come up here and then right about this rock right here, this little rodent rock, I start to catch my breath, getting a little extra stamina. And the whole time you're running across, even when you're at night, you're just kind of watching the top of that ridge line there to make sure that nobody's going to crest that hill uh, to give you a poke uh, as you run up. So when I get to the top of the hill here, I just beeline it straight for the uh, the hut here. So again, you get a, I believe it's a violet key card that spawns right here. You can get moonshine that spawns in here. So just loot the top of the, top of the filing cabinet the desk right there you got three jackets right there you can get random chocolates and stuff uh that spawn right here in the freezer part of the fridge duffel bag um and then you're good i run out here and we're gonna go to what i call fob i run like right about up to this point right here and then i start to walk i keep the trees for cover and the whole time I'm walking down here, I'm just listening. Is it about this point, whoever, if somebody went to Bob right off the spawn, they're going to probably be finishing up and you're going to meet right around in here. Uh, oftentimes, I get when I get into a firefight on this map and I'm coming in this direction, it is usually right in this area or it's right up at the very entrance right there at, at Bob itself. So right here, you're just listening, and I'm, for the sake of the uh, video, I'm gonna run, but just walk up. Like I have always walked up at night. During the day, it's a little riskier because you could have guys sitting back up over here looking to snipe. You got the big sniper rock up there. Um, people watch this area all the time, especially now with rangefinders. Um, but we got a chair here. You can get ammo, uh, food, all that kind of stuff spawns right here on the chair. Same thing with this table right here. So you can hit those up as you come in. Then you got a box right here. This is a ration box. You got meds that can spawn here. I've found tons of golden star on these racks right there. Got another box. Which one is this one? On? Uh, it's med supply. So you got a med supply box right there. You got random uh, loot that can spawn on the top of this. Got a med bag and a duffel bag. Get more meds spawn on top of this. Got a duffel bag right there. Meds on the chair, meds on the, the table right there. Come around the corner, meds on the shelves, meds on the little rack, meds on the, the table, meds on this rack. Once I've looted that, I come over here, loot the top of this box. You got another uh, tech supply. Yep, tech crate right there. You can get stuff that spawns on top of this desk. Just a, just a, a heads up, this one right here can be kind of a pin, but you might have to crouch down to uh, loot whatever's on the top of this because if it spawns in the back corner um, where my laser is, then you'll get an item that spawns back there. And if it does, it's a pain in the ass to get to. You have to actually crouch down to uh, get a hold of it, just so you know. Um, right here, orthomoscopes can spawn on the top of the desks right there. Check that out. And then I come over here, check for ammo, other valuable loot that's on here, valuable loot that's up here, valuable loot that's up here. I hit the box. And then right here, I've gotten a Bitcoin off of this uh, cop before. Spawned right there. Come in here. Another good place for Golden Star. I found lots of Golden Star and stuff on this, but that's just random meds. You can get fuel conditioner and fuel right here. Come up here. You get random weapon or uh, ammo and stuff. Food that can spawn up on the top of that. Right. What, what is this one? This one's a med supply crate right there. Then you got a ration crate right here. You can loot the tops of the tables. Loot the little rack here. All the way around. Lots of Lots of juice right there. What I do is I come around, loot this, loot this. There is a spawn right over here for food. You hit this little crate up right here. There's usually ammo and food and stuff like that right here. And then I come over here and loot ammo so that you can get an ammo spawn that's right here. 
on the top of the the shelf as well as on the boxes right here so just look around check and see if there's any good ammo and from this point on I is you are pretty good so what i typically do is i come down here and i run out and i go out to the extract just so you know and i want to clarify now i do understand that there is stuff up there that go along the uh, top of the containers there is loot up there and it can be decently good loot it's just it's risky so i just this is a money run i don't try try not to do as risky of things so i would avoid that um you can absolutely do it though uh it doesn't hurt you can get extra ammo some decent attachments and stuff that could be up there so if you feel the need to have more or if you have space for more you can go up there and get it so to get out of the map obviously if you spawned over at the uh, scav house on the other side of the map there and you've done this particular route you can extract right here you can see the green smoke if the green smoke is out or is up you can get out right here if it's not up you can still run behind this rock there's two big crates right there uh, that you can get and then you can extract out of the map however for sake of the video here we are going to go to the next area and by the way this is the direction you can go so let's say that that was blocked off you can actually run this direction and right over here is a fence uh, that you can see up right in front of me right now just on the other side of this fence is a cache you got cache right there and again this road right here takes you straight to the extract um if the uh the truck extract back there isn't open but we're gonna go to the next spawning area We still got 20 minutes while this is an offline map i'm still trying to get all these done in uh one video here Go like this also if you have flea market and you have the uh, injector or the money to buy an injector case i would do it you will find tons of morphine and uh i would call all of obadobados <laughs> however you want to pronounce the uh the oboe stem uh, but you find lots of them in here you know and at 22k and 10k a pop that adds up pretty quick you can make up a a lot of money just in savings at what you get to carry around stem wise Very nice for this map. All right. So if you spawn up in this area, which I guess we'll get a little further up here so you guys can see where we're at here. And this spawn, for whatever reason, I don't get this spawn very often at all. Like, I think I've got it maybe I had, a, I had a daily quest or a weekly quest that was uh, woods like 30 times or something like that that I had to do and out of all of those times I only got this one time so it doesn't happen often but in the event you get this spawn um, near this little village and this little little shack it's a, you get ranges on woods of where you spawn so it's not always going to be the same exact area but if you get the spawn for this section of the map what you do is you come into this house and you look to the right you can find fuses um, relays things like that that are all over in here um you got a box looking around for any loose loot you got a box here check the bed right here check the ground right here then we run out here and this is really the lucrative house out of this little area come in to the left you got random uh, uh tech stuff that can be right here more tech stuff up there you got a crate right here what is this one this one is a tech supply then i come up here i 
check the beds. I always check beds on woods because they always spawn big ones, it seems. Check this stuff right there. I've never personally found anything in those two spots, but I still just I check it anyway, uh, just to be safe. You don't want to miss a Bitcoin. Uh, got a ration crate right there. Then you get stuff that spawns randomly right there as well. Then I come and I jump over here. You got more stuff that spawns on here that are uh, weapon attachment wise. And then you got another box to loot right there. This back shelf right here can also have stuff spawn on it. I believe you can get stuff that spawns in there, but I don't check that thing very often. So I'm not, in, I can't be a hundred on it. Come up here. I check the top of the bed. I'm not sure if a Bitcoin spawns on here, but I check it all the time. Check the box under the bed, spawn some stuff. Top of the bed can spawn stuff. Top of the, the table right here can spawn things. And then after I've done that, I run back this direction. This is one of the few caches I actually do hit on a regular basis when I do this run. So right here, we've got the cache. Once you've hit the cache, keep going back this direction. It's up here at the uh, little tank. It's on the side of the or it's in the road right up here. There's a weapon box right here. If you run this direction. Right here is another cache. You hit that one and then you come off this direction right here. So I'm usually using this bushes as cover. I'm looking down into here to see if I see any movement of a PMC running around in there. And then I'm slowly transitioning out like this. Just scoping the area to see if I see any people or scavs uh, walking the road. And then what I do is I, cut, I kick across and I use this field to my advantage. Lots of tall bush and, and weeds here. Um, that you can use to hide if somebody does shoot at you. Uh, just so you know, if you do get somebody shooting at you, like in this area, just double tap Z real quick, throw your backpack, and lay down. Reason why you want to drop your backpack is you can see that backpack from a mile away uh, as somebody pushes up on you, and they will shoot you before you can see them. So drop the backpack and just start crawling around to get relocated off of where you went down at, and then maybe stand up and engage the guy as you see fit from there. All right, and as we come over here, we got a dock that can have gold spawns under here. You can get Bitcoins that can spawn under the under the dock. There's three spawns that, that happen here We're like this. So you got one there. You got one right there and you got one up here. Um, so check those out. You can get ammo and food that can spawn along these uh, these logs right there. After you do that, I come in here around the corner. I loot this stuff right here. I loot the tops of these the top of that i haven't found anything in here yet but i check it anyway just you never know i check out the top of this i look down here on this tarp you look inside the tub look on the top of this pallet and i come in here i can open the door look in the the barrel there top of these along like this along the top of the uh the bench there, top of the table, and then table and a case or a uh, toolbox. Once you've looted that, I come this direction. You can come in here. You can loot this stuff, this stuff right here, which it's just food and drink. You find sugar here all the time. And then I come back here, open this door right here. You can get a... Uh, uh, GPUs. I found uh, power filters. The the what are they, the PF power filter or whatever it is. Uh, the military one that's like 500k uh, can spawn right here. And you got the top of the table. You can find stuff there. Look under the bed. You can find chainlets, things like that here. Vases, and then top of the bed can spawn ammo and stuff as well. Did you come out? Ammo can spawn on top of the couch right there. Come upstairs. Money and stuff can spawn right here. I don't know if Bitcoin's can spawn here. I check it out every time anyway. And then inside of this, more money and stuff that can spawn right there. Duffel bag. You get an armor, one of the 3M armors that can spawn right there. Which could be potentially good if you're on the quest early on. You got more spawns that are on the top of this. Moonshine and stuff uh, included. You got this guy right here. More stuff on top of that. Toolbox right there. And another... Uh, toolbox right there. 
From there, I run across into this big boy. This house is the lesser house of all three. Um, but you can get stuff around the outside of it. So you got stuff there. You got a grenade box right there. So right here, it's a good example why you loot that little table right there. Loot that little log right here. And then look on top of all these tables right here for, for sugar, which you can see there. See over here. Come in here. Ammo spawns on the benches right there. Come in here. You got a duffel bag. Lay down. Look under the bed. You can get a Bitcoin spawn under there. And then you got a uh, bunch of ammo spawn up there and right there. Jump over. Duffel bag. More spawns up on the top of, of this table right here. I've heard that there's a Bitcoin that can spawn back here. I have personally never seen it, but I check it every time anyway. Um, grenade box right there. And then from there, I kick out immediately to the right. You can get more uh, tech supplies that can spawn on the top of this. Tech on the top of this. Or, or is it not tech? It's like hardware or whatever you want to call it. So corrugated hose there, but more on the top of this. On top of that, in that, you can see right there in the slot of the uh, pallet, right there's some hose. On top of this pallet, top of the table, come in here. Yeah, some right here. You got a spawn. It's usually ammo, but it can be food and drink as well. Then right here is stuff. Right here is stuff. Inside the box. Over here on both of these uh, drums right here. On the tops of these drums. Come here. I don't think I've ever seen in here. I could be wrong, but I don't remember ever seeing anything on that one. Um, we got toolbox and other random, uh, you know, hardware items that can be found right there. After that, we run out, make a right. Come into here. Tops of these desks right there. Top of that desk. Top of this desk. Got a toolbox and the shelves to loot right there. So as we come in, you loot the uh, the cabin here. I have found uh, sugar moonshine right here. I want to say even bitcoins can spawn there, but I'm, I can't want be a one hundred percent for certain for that. Still very good place to look at. Duffel bag, sugar and stuff that spawns on the table. So make sure you clear the table well. Same with right here on top of that. Look in this, you get money spawns that are right here. Money spawns that are right here. I don't know if there's any Bitcoins or anything like that spawns. I've never personally seen it, but still good to check. On the top of the table here, I found money spawns. Right here, I find ammo and sugar and things like that all the time. Come upstairs, lay down, scan under the, under the bed for your little white uh, dot. See if there's any Bitcoins or anything like that that spawns underneath there. Right inside the the desk right about there is a Bitcoin spawn. You come over here to this bed, lay down, do the same thing. There's no uh, dot under there, so there's nothing there. Then ammo spawns that appear right here on this little bed. Um, this is one of the better houses to hit just because of the loot that spawns under those beds. Um, pretty lucrative. Come out here, look at the top of this table for anything good. I come out, I jump over this, and then I look in the trough and around the trough. Looking for more ammo spawns right here. See, it's not too bad. Got a box to loot right there. Right here, you got a toolbox. Come in here. You got random uh, uh, hardware stuff that spawns on the, uh, the floor all around in here. You can get packs ram in here, like right there. Inside this box, around that little, the blue scale there. On the floor right over here. So just kind of look at the floor all around in there. Come over here to this outhouse. You can find ammo and food and stuff that's in here. So check that stuff out. Right here, soaps and stuff right here. Spawn right there. Right here as well on top of the table. And then you get nuts and bolts that spawn in here. Uh, come over here, look at the ground. I've found stuff that spawn on the ground right here as well as inside this little container. And then what I do is I walk up onto this right here and then I jump these little tanks i jump over and now i work toward the extract so running this way 
we are gonna head for the car so always carry you know 15 20 000 ruples on you um just because it allows you to take the car and you don't have to worry about cash or anything like that but if you spawn here even if you if you hit everything and just keep everything as you go you will still have a ton of money when you get out of here i mean three four hundred k um just written all these houses and that's if you don't find anything elite and good um as you go but right here you can take the car extract and uh bounce out so if i spawn back over at that hill back in the distance where we came down the rocks through the open field if you spawn right over there you do exactly what we did there we just hit that house right there shoot straight across to this house loot that house around that house shoot to the the last house down there loot that jump over run the back side down the ridge line and to the car and just get out make it a really quick run take you about 10 minutes uh, to be really thorough with it and you can uh, bounce out and make potentially a mil mil and a half i mean it depends on how lucky you get with some of the spawns um if you feel like you don't have enough money on you to get out you can always go to um the sunken village right up there and then backtrack here to the car extract but we're gonna disconnect from this one confirm leave we're gonna have to load up another woods map because here we are we are in the sunken village now this is probably the most lucrative as well as the longest run that i personally do when i'm in woods um because i hit multiple spots up and you can usually get pretty juiced out of here but this is another one of those range spawns so you got like a big little window here that you can spawn in at but let's say that you're like spawning in right here and you look around you got water on both sides of you right there and you see like little huts and stuff like that over there for the sunken village you know instantly you got to go to the right so we're going to come over here and then the first house right here on the right hand side is a uh pretty lucrative house i've gotten tons of money out of this thing we come in here this big old bush right here the first thing i do is i check this little door still right there you can't get bitcoins you can't get good stuff that spawns right there um, as you're looking inside this big bush, you can get stuff that spawns right here. I've gotten lions from right here. You can get stuff right over here next to the uh, tree. So when you are on the left right here, essentially what you want to do is you just want to pan around inside this tree, looking for your little white reticle uh, to pop up. You do have a cache right here that you can search, but you're just looking for bitcoins, lions, uh, golden necklaces, all that stuff can spawn around in, inside that giant bush. As soon as I've looted that big bush, I come out here. I'm up over the top of the rock here. Drop down. I look in all the corners of this boat. So look right there. Look right there. Look on all the corners next to the uh, the uh, bench right here. As you see, there's a horse there. You can get bitcoins that spawn out of that boat. I come up here into the tower. Make sure as you come through this, you're looking down and crouched. And you'll like fit right through you won't fight getting in and out of it but i'm looking along the perimeter of the uh, room inside here again lions bitcoins rollers golden chainlets all that stuff spawns in here and spawns pretty decently when i've looted that i come out and i kick it hard right i come this direction Inside here, you can get soap and stuff that spawns in here. Toothpaste spawn in there. Soap and toothpaste right here. Come in, look for the right for random, random stuff on the floor there. Random meds that are up on here. Syringes can spawn in the little blue container there. Um, more stuff spawns right here along this. Inside this tent, you can get bitcoins and gold chains, things like that, as you can see right there. Just so you can see, you can see it from right there, but if it's a bitcoin, you can still just kind of scan over look for the white reticle you got a duffel bag right there to loot after you've hit that i come to this building right here look inside the uh the bin here come over here look at the edge of the bed right there as you can see there's something in the mattress right there so i just pan around until you find it Alright, you get it for the video. I'm not gonna sit there. It could take a while if it's a Bitcoin. <laughs> it's kind of a pain in the butt. But 
Uh, you check that bed mattress right there for any any good juice. Come in here. You got um, more elect or not electronic, but more hardware stuff that spawn on the top of the uh, table right here. Come in here. You got ammo that spawns along the top of the bed right there. You got a mattress to loot. You also got a food spawn right there that you get. Right here next to the bed, sugar, um, vodka spawn here. I haven't seen any moonshine there, but maybe some moonshine can spawn there. I'm not 100%. Uh, and then right here is the one good spawn that you can get out here and get bitcoins. It can spawn down in that little computer section right there. Look at the uh, cots for any kind of good food or sugar or anything like that. Check out the top of this mattress right there for ammo, typically. And then I run this direction to the mark circle. So from the mark circle, you look inside the circle right here, as well as outside the circle by a little bit. So I just kind of scan around looking for any Bitcoins, rollers, Okay, right there's a, a rooster as you come around. Once you've looted that, I come up over the top like this. And I run down the hill because right here, you see this little boat. You run up to the boat and just kind of circle around it. You can get uh, Bitcoins, gold necklaces, all kinds of good stuff to spawn in there. So there's something in there. Where is it? Uh, something about offline modes makes things like sometimes really difficult. I, it's not as hard to find this stuff in a online raid, but I think it's a Bitcoin that's down in there because it's pretty hard to see. And they kind of just like float and they clip into things. It's just kind of a pain in the butt to do it in offline. Um, but you won't have that difficult of a time finding it. But yeah, gold chains and Bitcoins can spawn in that little boat out there. Look inside of these bushes, same thing right here. You can get Bitcoins that can spawn in here, lions, um, that kind of thing. So check those three bushes. I checked this little door mount right here. I don't think I've ever seen anything there. Well, I check it anyway, just just because as I come out that building, I make a hard left. Come check out this little hut right here real quick. You get more Bitcoins and stuff to spawn inside of this. Usually a hardware spawn or two that's right in this region right here. See, this is what I mean, like probably lay down and see it somewhere down here. It's not technically down. It's actually in the boat inside the, uh, the uh, rope and stuff right there, but Whatever reason, I don't know why it's not shown. You got a toolbox right there. And we're going to run across to this next hut. So as you're running up, check that little desk right there because you can get moonshine that can spawn on the top of that. All right. As you come in here, circle hard right. Right here is a gold spawn right there. You can get bitcoins there. Look at the top of the the, uh, the little wood bench there. Like right there, you can get a gold necklace and stuff. Uh, I'm guessing a Bitcoin can spawn there as well. Um, inside the box in the middle of it, you can get a Bitcoin. Look inside these boxes right here for ammo. I always check this little bed. I haven't really found anything right there, but I check it every time anyway. Right about there is another elite spawn. Check on the top. Lots of streamer items that can spawn right here. Um, Anywhere on the top of these boxes and on the ground around them. You got more ammo as you check out inside these containers on top of the containers. And then once you've looted that, I come out here to this little uh, toolbox. Loot the toolbox. Once you've looted the toolbox, I run up to this little tree line right here. And at this point, I lube up. Um, so I start popping the golden star right now. Every red. Reason being is when I get into firefights doing this mode, it's usually right up in this area. Um, it's probably the most common place I get into a firefight is this little spot right here. Um, so it's either scavs or it's PMCs almost consistently. Um, so as you come up in here, this is the first thing I hit. You got a little green box right there that you can hit. You got stuff that can sp I don't know. I can't, I can't remember ever seeing anything here, but I believe you can get stuff that spawns in here. Um, you got food. And drink the spawns right there and there. I come back this way. I look on the ground right here. You can get fuel conditioner that I've personally seen here. As well as I've seen fuel conditioner and fuel that spawns right here. Then I come into here. Loot the top of the uh, mattress right there. I always check the, the sandbag right there. Look on the bed. And then the big spawns are under this bed right here. You can get bitcoins, pro kills, all kinds of good juice that spawns under this cot right there. And then on top of the cot is ammo. 
Got a nag case right there. Box. Once you've looted that, I come straight for this little shack right here. Moonshine can spawn on the top of that. Looking around for any food and drink. Ammo, food and drink on that mattress. I kick it up the, the deal here. Moonshine, food and drink. You got right here, you can get uh, Bitcoins that can spawn in the, in the sandbag. It's really hard to see. Gold chainlets, things like that in there. You got a duffel bag, as well as a uh, little level two armors that can spawn in here. Ammo and stuff that go through the, uh, the bed. Sugar on the uh, thing, as well as other food and drink. It's not always sugar. Come down the way right here. You got a ration box, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Ration supply crate right there. Ammo that spawns on the top uh, of the table and in the boxes right there. And as we come out this direction, we're going to this little uh, little fob thing right here. I don't know what you want to call it, like antenna or something like that. Hill antenna. And as you're running through this area, just know that, especially at night, there seems to be like a ton of scabs in this area. So just go kind of slow. You don't have, don't run like I am. Um, so you got ammo that spawns on these boxes, in the boxes, around the boxes, over here on these boxes. So check that stuff out. Come around the corner, you can get more fuel that you could find spawned right here in this area right there. Fuel conditioner on top of that with uh, eat and drink in this area as well. You got a green box right there you can loot. You got random stuff, food and drink that can be spawned on the ground right there. Another grenade box right there. Ammo on the top of that. Green box right here. And then you can come down. We got a duffel bag right here that you can loot. Actually, I've never checked this chair, but I am kind of curious to see if there's any spawn in the chair there. I've never actually thought about looking there, but maybe a good thing for you guys to comment in the bottom. Let me know if you guys have ever seen anything there. But toolbox. You got sugar right here. Red Bull. So just random food and drinks inside this room. Check inside the wall lockers. And get good stuff out of there duffel bag on the left the big spawns are right here so along this mattress you look for bitcoins over here you can find horses and lions uh things like that right in this area so there's a skull ring right there come over here you get sugar and stuff on the top of the uh table right there under this this little mattress right there you can get bitcoins and stuff under there you got a jacket to loot I always search this. I've never found anything on the mattress right there, nor have I found anything under this bed, but I always search it just in case. And after you've looted that, you can run out. Kind of kick it this direction here. And we're going to go to the... Uh, I want to say it's Prapper's Convoy, if I recall right, but I could I could be wrong with that for the, for the Prapper quest, I believe. I believe it is. But as we're coming down in here, look inside of the box. Meds spawn on top of the body right there. You got a technical crate right here, I believe. Yep, technical crate. As well as you got the uh, green box right there. All right, now that we're gassed. And this is why this one's a, a long run, is it? You're going to spend a... It's just You're hitting multiple high-value areas here on this one run. And... Yeah, it's a little riskier because you're in the raid a little longer and you're going through multiple areas, but it's pretty lucrative. And even then, you typically don't find people because, again, we're heading in this direction, heading towards outskirts extract. Most people are doing kind of the same rotation. It's, it's pretty rare that people actually rotate back this direction to run into you. So, again, we've already gone through how to loot this stuff. Um, so we'll, we'll kind of cliff note this one. Loot this area right here under the table is the big spot right there. Got box and more attachments on the, the deal. An elite spawn on the ground right there. You got a box there. You got another box right there with another table with uh, attachments on it. And from this point forward, we're going to go through the steps. I'm not showing where all the loot is exactly just because we've already gone through all this stuff, but you're basically running the, the loot run where we spawned in early, you know, earlier. We're running that same, same little, little deal, looting all of this stuff. And once you've looted all of this area, we're going to go back across the road. Heading for ZB. Oh, there is one more spawn actually. Now that I think about it. Uh, 
So sometimes you spawn back over in here. You got the the sniper rock over here where sniper scavs up over there. You got spine that's running down this way right there. If you get this spawn, the best way you got options are kind of open to you. Um you're gonna be second to most everything you're gonna to go to anyway. Um, it's, I consider this the worst spawn uh, when making money um, that you can get. It's fantastic if you want to go try to get Sturman. You just got to run up over Spine and you can be one of the first ones to get a crack at, at Sturman. But outside of stalking and, and going for Sturman, you're going to be kind of late getting to anywhere you want to go. However, because it's very centrally located, you can kind of choose wherever you want to go. There's two options that I would personally do and go from there. Because if you look at your extracts right here, you're going to have to go out at the, uh, well, if you look at mine, mine's not accurate. You're going to have to go out over at outskirts. That's going to be the direction that this spawn is going to send you in. Um, so with that, I would go one of two ways. I'd either go towards the little camp that's right up over here and then work up to the villages that are over there. And then take the car extract or i would just follow the spine down toward fob loot the medical fob and then once you've looted the medical fob do the little reverse run that has been shown earlier in the raid over towards the little scav hut and then across to zb014 and get out at zb014 or out at outskirts uh, right over there so do that little run in reverse um those would be the two directions that i would personally go you can come up here, which I can show really quick. There is loot that you can get on the uh, the top of the rocks right here. So you can come up this. And there's gold spawns that could be up here. Bitcoins, all kinds of stuff that's on the top of this little uh, Jaeger hideout here. Or Jaeger camp, whatever you want to call this. You can get good stuff there and then you can come around the corner it's nice to be winded in an offline raid catch a little stamina here up, up. When you finally do the uh the jumping up the hill here you can come down into this real little hole here and you can find bitcoins lions you know all these little things gold necklaces around the perimeter of this little tunnel right there but it's always good to hit out or hit up then you got ammo and stuff that can spawn on these little boxes right there i don't know if anything can spawn there i've never really looked at it but you can come up the maybe come up the rock right here and the sniper scav will be right up here he's usually hanging out like right up over the top of this right here so you can kill him you'll be marching around there take him out and then once you've done that you can make the play for either the village that's over here or the fob that is out there in the distance but aside from that that's how i personally make my uh my money on woods when i run woods um it's very low key it's easy to make the money in it you're not you're having to kill you know two three four people a map um you know every now and again you'll run into a two man on woods but it's not super often it's a lot of usually solos that are just trying to make and grind some money without having to get into a ton of fights at least at night at least at night um so i'd recommend this again being done at night load out again we'll go over load out one more time important parts are the backpack and the rig those are the big deals everything else you can kind of just mix and match and part however you feel comfortable doing um again you're not getting into too many firefights i recommend a shotgun with flechettes that works great um, and then run i'd invest if you have the ability if you have them unlocked i'd invest uh purchasing good night vision it will help you see a little bit better more because it's more so for the scavs because they're they can be a pain in the butt scavs always suck um as you run your route you will absolutely make 
a ton of money doing this this run um there's runs out there that are faster that you can make money in like large amounts of money um quicker but this one is the safest so it takes a little bit longer but you don't get into the same kind of firefights you get into with with other maps so i hope this helps you guys out i hope this uh helps you make a little bit of money um uh, to be able to get a little of that gear fear out give you a little bit more confidence in pvp in a little bit that's really where the game becomes fun so I, again i hope it helps i love you guys thank you guys so much for the uh the support and everything and we will uh see you guys in the next video have a good day